I'm Sir Tap and welcome back to Copy Kitty once again. You know what? I want to play a Savant. Specializes in multitasking precision hits. Does he copy or is he totally different? Oh! Ah, good. Everything seems to be functioning properly. This version might be ready for Boki to try first hand. Still, one more test wouldn't hurt. Seems like a very inefficient, like, distance to teleport. Compute to make the usual preparations. Acknowledged. I like that random C prompt. I'd limit my powers to roughly the level of Bokeys and try my hand at this myself. Our abilities are fundamentally different in some ways, but I'm certain they can be worked around in any case. Begin! Oh wow, he is... Oh wait, maybe it's just the tutorial that's different. What the... Place a window with B, then shoot from it by holding... X. What? Okay, yeah, he's completely different. Wait, does he have- he still gets copy abilities, though? What? Oh! Oh, whoa! He is totally different! That's really cool! Okay, then. Does he combine? Hold on. Combos, Riptide, Bifurcator. Shut, shut time. Oh, cool! Oh wow, he's like totally different. I was not expecting this, honestly. Um, wow, Savant can only combine two weapons, but the order matters. Split waves gives us a different result than wave split. Push left to, to bring up the weapon menu. Oops. Yeah, the weapon menu, select the combination you want from there. Uh, Bifurcator. So I want split and then wave to get through here. Oh! Okay, wow, that's, that's quite cool. So I need the other combo for this one. Ugh, that's really neat. Okay, I like, I like this guy. Press A to teleport. Oh, you can just erase stuff. Press. Okay, what was the thing to teleport? Oh, right. Can I teleport through this? No. He's a bit more complicated, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Give me some bounce. Let's see what bounce can make. Bounce, wave, pressure stream, dispersal halo. Oh, it's like a homing attack? It's like searching for targets, I think. It's gotta be bounce, right? Yeah, that blocks, so... Jelly bubble, maybe? Ah, there we go. If I could get the angle right. There we go! Huh. So this seems fun, but definitely more complicated. I was not expecting him to be, like, totally different. Flame Talisman. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, his plasma is awesome. Alright, plasma and split. Diverging beam. Oh, that's a little bit plain. Oh, no, that's actually pretty cool. This portion of the simulation is concluded. Hmm, yes. Sometimes causing that much destruction can be more fun than it should be. Let's hope I didn't awaken too much recklessness in Boki when she plays it. You may enter endless mode to fight randomized waves of enemies. Story mode allows you to test your abilities in series of pre-created stages. You may start at any time to browse the simulation for just the various options. Hmm, perhaps I should program you to better, to be a better conversational partner sometime. Air voice command, <laughs> voice command not recognized. Exactly. Oh, so I can I just do? Oh, he has, he has a totally different story mode. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna finish Boki's mode first before I even worry about that. Um, I guess we'll see how we're feeling, whether I want to, you know, do a whole second playthrough with him. Um, world four, the underworld. This game has, it's got quite a lot going on, doesn't it? All right, did I turn back up? Yeah, I turned back up my settings. Let's see our, let's see our chivos here for a bit. Defeat 25 enemies with this Maverick Hunter. Uh, friendly 
fire. Blow up three enemies using Explorer. <laughs> oh cool, it gives you uh, hints for all of them. Alright. I like this cave look. Do I kick? Oh, you gotta kick it a bunch, I guess. Explode. Alright, interesting. Wait, what do I do here? Uh, let me guess. Explode? Is there a quick way to talk? Ow! That's not what I was supposed to do, but... I wonder, is there a... Ow. Go away. Is there a quick toggle for these? Uh, let me check controls. Configure buttons. I don't think there is. Oh, you can drop weapons! I didn't know that. It's kind of weird if there's just like a quick left-right sort of toggle. I appreciate having a pause and a real-time, you know, method of switching up weapons. Oh. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, I was hovering over a thing, so it was toggling every time. It's a really inconvenient place for that to be. No, kick! Huh? I guess you gotta kick it manually. Alright, there you go. Oh wait, no, explode! That's what I need. Oh hey, I got the, um, the awesome Kirby 64 uh, ninja star thing. Alright. See, like I was saying before, you know, it's a, it's a, got a new feature pretty much every level, and I, I really love that because it, it keeps things really fresh, and it's really not easy to do. You know, it, it's quite a lot of work, and I think it's kind of underrated in terms of how important it is to really give the player something new in every single level if you really can. Dang it, I was so close to the stupid factory, but then they blew up a whole building just to keep me away. Indeed, the factory has many defenses, but if you keep going through these caverns, you should be able to bypass most of them. And then I'll bust right in and ruin their day. Loki's really getting into this. Aw, oh, it's more of these guys. I don't like these freaking Sniper Joes. They look like- they used to look like Buzz Lightyear, but they're clearly Sniper Joes. Dynamite! That sounds fun. Check dynamite that explodes on a timer. You can kick it, too. Interesting. Can you- do you kick it, like, to manually detonate, or... Let's just find out. Uh, kick. I guess you kick it to ow. Yeah, you kick it to give it an arc. Does it detonate? Hmm. Is it contact explosive? It is not. Ow. So I bet it goes around their shields. Ow. It's another one of those weapons I can hurt, I can hurt myself with. So I obviously will hurt myself with it. There's a weapon you can damage yourself with. I will manage to kill myself with it several times. Alright. Boop. Nice. Hey, what? Oh, I took damage after the level was over. TNT tunnel. I like the sound of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three, two, one. Poof. It's also something I really enjoyed about 3D World over 3D Land. I felt 3D Land didn't really... Ow. Like, with 3D World, almost every new, every level had something new, and maybe there was, like, one repeat, especially with that, you know, there's a whole world of, you know, it's basically speedrunning through the main concepts. Or not necessarily speedrunning, but, like, more difficult, somewhere on timers, somewhere on... How do I do this? Oh, dynamite! Duh. Exploded anyway. But, um. No, right there. There you go. Uh, 3D World, their level of variety just felt really good. 3D Land, I felt a little. I, I played World before 3D Land, and I think that's probably why I don't like it as much. But, uh. If you play it in that order, I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, 3D World is a lot better. Constructs can be exceedingly resourceful. 
Watch out for the ones that absorb the powers of their fallen comrades. I think in gaming we kind of value, like, being the first a, a bit too much. Like, being the first and kind of crappy. Um, oh, it's, whoa. It's not quite what I was expecting. You know, just because something did X first and fairly well doesn't mean that, like, another thing doing that and, like, perfecting that is a bad thing. Like, we kind of value originality in gaming a bit to the point where it's like, you know, we hate really good things that just happen to, you know, build on prior art or whatever. And that's pretty dumb. Alright, so I definitely do not want to give these things out the chance to absorb a copy power. No, kick them. Kick them. So never, never let it touch the copy ability. And you see that a lot with ga with people like complaining about reuse that like does not matter in any way, shape, or form. But people are just still super mad. Like, I think it was like Skyrim Sky was like reused and edited in Fallout 4 or something. It's like it's a freaking skybox, dude. Like, it looks perfectly fine. But like, and people don't really like. When programming and stuff, reuse is extremely important to being able to, like, actually have a decent variety of content and, you know, finish on time. So yeah, these Wraith things... Definitely don't give them a power. Because, like, the first time that a concept appears in gaming, it is never done perfectly. Yeah, th there might be some, like, incredibly rare exceptions, but basically... You know, even if you think that something is perfect the first go around, it probably isn't. You just haven't seen better because you know nobody else has done it. He's got a freaking magma. He got he got a magma like hoodie at Hot Topic. Good for him. What are you doing, Parker? What are you doing? Calm yourself. Cats. Anyway, um, ow. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, you're never gonna find the perfect thing your first attempt. So we should really value refinements and you know companies that reuse their assets well a lot more than we do. It's pretty ridiculous the way we treat a lot of things in gaming. I mean, we, I mean like a collective we. Like I'm sure you know you, dear watcher, are obviously brilliant and intelligent and handsome as I am, but you know many many people are not quite as, you know, astute and all that. Yeah, we just, like... There's really no reason to hate on... As long as you're not, like, it doesn't have that feeling that you're playing the exact same freaking game, like, um... Well, like... Say, SNES, like, sports games, well, modern sports games too, really, but, you know... That feeling that it's just, you're playing actually the same game, same engine, same everything. It's just only, you know, the graphics and a roster update, like, the, the legacy editions of uh, FIFA and stuff. You know, which they basically straight up admit they're just only a, uh, a roster change. Oh, so you do have to destroy these. What the? Oh, hey, he has Tornado. Oh, I love that Tornado combo. Dynamite everywhere. That sounds, that sounds pleasant. Right? Right? Yeah! Oh, you're a mini-boss, huh? Oh, I think it does show damage numbers for certain things, but the, if they like, if you're constantly dealing damage, it like waits a while for it to accumulate. See? Okay, I, I think I understand how the damage numbers work now. I like this boss. He's he's designed around that you know specific item. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? There you go. This game really knows how to use its gimmicks well, and you know, in a good way. You know, like like I was talking about, with the, every level just has its own feel and doesn't feel very samey at all. And like even 
you know, not necessarily everything is totally, like, new. Like, we've used dynamite before, but we haven't used it in this way, you know, in a boss specifically designed for it. And it works really well. Got to do our little pose there. Alright. The magical material Shadow Metal is nearly indestructible under normal circumstances. There was a short period of time when the Cybers built penguin-shaped macaroonies out of it. They're often shot out of cannons, so durability should have been more damage. They just ended up bouncing around chaotically, destroying all their own troops. And this is the world-threatening evil force we have, to, we have to worry about? No matter how oblivious the enemy's flaw is, we must learn to explore it. Go kick the penguins! Alright, we gotta, we gotta kick them penguins. Tch, okay. See, like I said, new gimmick. Every, like, every level. There we go. And there's a lot you can do, like, and even a lot of these gimmicks, like, it's a combination of stuff we've used before, but, you know, in a totally new way, like, it feels totally new, even though, you know, we've seen locks, you know, that we have to interact with from a distance before. We've seen invincible enemies. We've seen kicks before, but, you know, you, you combine it all together in a specific way, it just feels really good and fresh. Glimmering cavern. Huh? Oh, it reflects. What a jerk. Mirror. Reflects any enemy projectiles. Nice. All right, spam me with bullets. Can you deal down to the mirror itself. I guess you can. Neat. Oh dang, it's actually really strong if you do that, if you're near by. I really, yeah, some of the solos, the solo, only the, um, the summon enemies ones seem weak. The, most of these are really good, actually. My initial impression of the solos was that they were going to be total junk, but, uh, doesn't seem to be the case, fortunately. Crystal Quarry. Crystal Quarry seems like a pretty delicious place to be. Meow. Oops. Oh no, you eat gem- you, She eats gemstones?! Okay. I know you eat gemstones, but this isn't meant to be a fine dining simulator. Don't get distracted. I guess that's why her tail and, like, claw have gems all over them. She eats gems, but, uh... Huh. Did you have some dynamite for me? Yes! See, now I'm really enjoying the non- combination powers. I When I first played, like I, I thought, for sure, those would be the only fun things, like super mix-up abilities. How do I... Ugh, these things are so annoying to kill. Huh. Alright, run! You reflect an explosion, jerk. Alright. Alright, we can ki just kick that. True. Oh dang, is he... He's huge. He must have huge guts. Oh, come on. Oh, eat the dynamite. I think you can bounce off of projectiles and erase them. You can actually do that in Bunny Must Die, too. It's really cool. Uh-oh. Get out of here, Wraith. Nobody likes your style. I'm gonna keep making that reference until somebody actually gets it. Ow. Get. 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 I don't think he's even a target. Whatever. Why are you not dead? How are you not dead? It's because he's not on the ground, I think. Get on the ground. I don't think I need to worry about that guy. Oh, health, please. No, health, please. Seriously, give me that health. Okay, thank you. Oh, dang, what? This is a pretty big level. Oh, and I'm out of things. Okay. I really should kill that thing. I'm kind of lost in this maze. Okay. Okay, okay, mirror. I don't think the mirror works at all on that, but... 
I got me some uh, some of that power I hate, actually. Oh, come on. Okay, this is gonna be dangerous. Oh, health! Give the health. Thank you. Alright. Bounce? No, I want mirror! It's a bit annoying that the swap is the same as the attack button. Get out of here. No, get out! Oh, whatever. Sniper Joe! I'm so tired of you, Sniper Joe. How do I even... what? No! What the hecky? No! Oh, those rays are super annoying. Alright, let's try this again. Sheesh. Sure is picky. Ow! Rude! What? Apparently he can guard that stuff that's at his feet. For some reason, the nope Chuck Testa meme just popped into my brain. I just thought I would share that with you. Uh, I think I need dynamite, so. Oh, right. I like how that health drop is just like, yeah, you're probably gonna get yourself killed while doing this, so. We'll just give you some health here. Wait, I have. Do I have invincibility on or something? What? What? What is this? Hold up, no. Super speed! Movement speed is increased and you can't be flinched. Nice! Where did, where did I get that, though? Oh, see, here's what I was talking about with the the weapon swap. It should be like, hold the button instead of just tapping it to uh, swap. No. No. Nope. Nope, my friend. You, you have to die. Ugh. I really don't like the detonator. It just mixes up my buttons. So like, I'll, I'll keep pressing attack when I mean to defend. Oh! We just summoned Satan. How do I... What do I do to get that one? Well, I guess we'll work our way around the rest of the level. Or... Oh! Here! Ow! I knew there had to be a way in here. Pfft. <laughs> dead. I don't think this will actually be that useful. Especially not if I blow it up. Oh hey, it breaks through spikes at least. Yeah, I actually- oh. Interesting. Wait. <laughs> Holy crap, he can break through these! Alright, maybe he's a little more useful than I thought he would be. I thought for sure he'd be totally useless in this level, because it's so vertical. <laughs> he just ignores the freaking. Look, he cut him in half! Holy crap! That's some Mega Man stuff right there. Uh-oh. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care about that Wraith. I don't have time for that. Homie, don't play that. Alright, boss time. Oh wait, no it's not. Unstoppable. You're directly under the facility now. You might start seeing more high-tech enemies from this point now on. Once you clear out this area, head straight up. Let's go with Explode, I guess. Bunnies! So many dangerous bunnies in this game. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, what? Mid-boss time. Ow, 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 ow. What? Okay, you gotta hit the front. Do I get to steal this? Oh, I bet I get to steal that and control it. Okay. okay. I was like when... In any game where you can, like, get enemies' powers, like, a new enemy is always super exciting because you get to take its stuff or whatever. Or you get some new item or something, at least. Here we go! Bloop! Booster. Sky Barrage. Chain Mauler! Nice. B hold. Nice! Aw oh, man, this is really cool. This is like... I really love when games give you the opportunity to control like something like a big boss. Does that have a cat face? <laughs> yeah, it has a face on it. Like, um, Mega Man ZX Advent lets you copy the boss's abilities and like... You actually turn into the boss, 
So there's a couple where like, uh, there's this guy called Bri Bifrost, who's like a giant Mega Man X style crocodile thing. And you get to control that. Uh, there's a couple, there's only a couple stages in the game designed for him to play. So that only in those do you really play totally properly. But, uh, super fun. Here we go. Cause you, you ever get the feel, that feeling of, you know, being the huge enemy. Is this a boss? I keep expecting a boss, I'm not 100% sure why. I guess the other levels already had a boss at this point, so that's why. There we go. Ow. Key? Oh, that was an enemy. Okay. Aw oh, man. Sniper Joe, get get out of here. What an annoying enemy. Any primarily defensive enemy I I, I do not like. Like those free freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle enemies in uh, Senran Kagura Shinobi Verse. It's so freaking annoying because they take forever to kill. And it's not difficult or anything. They just have these long periods of complete invincibility. And no matter how skilled you are, you just have to wait. And I, I don't think defensive enemies should be designed like that. I think defensive enemies should be like something where you're like... Wait, can that pierce? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no, it's a freaking... Oh, I hate remotes so much. Ah, oh, there we go. That was annoying. Um, yeah, that remote. Steamwork Tyrant. That does sound more like a boss. Yep. Oh, we got a mode 7 boss fight. This is the end of the line, cat. I'll mow you down like grass. It's one of those classic SNES giant thing in the plane behind you, boss. Can you just... Oh, you gotta attack the the weapons while they're on your plane. That's cool. Oh, and they have separate health too. That's neat. Wait. Quick is definitely going for plasma. Wave is definitely going for lightning. Yeah, that's more like it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, lightning drastically limits your amount of attacks. We'll get... Explode instead, I... Oh, wait, no. Wave instead, I guess. I couldn't even see if that was dealing damage, unfortunately. Alright, let's get him away from that wall. So I can actually hurt him. Alright, get over here. I think you're supposed to use that as a trap for him, but whatever. Yeah, let's swap that for wave. Come on, attack! Ah, come on! Pfft. Gotcha. Alright. I guess we'll trade Plasma for that wave since I have more- Oh, not the Sniper Joes! Oh, now he's on this plane. Plane, yeah. Get it! Obliter- Holy crap! Nice! Oh, that's a satisfying, like... It's not like a, you're hammering a big bell. Sound design is a really underappreciated aspect of game development, too. Like, a really satisfying hit sound can change a weapon, like, the feel of a weapon or a boss or an attack or whatever. Just be so much better. Like, that weapon would not feel half as good if it was just, like, a lame, wimpy sound effect. It would still be just as effective, but it wouldn't be as good, you know? The Animata is entering the facility. Stop her at once. The production lines must keep running. And there we are, the refinery is up next. Once again, I'll go ahead and cut the video here, and next time we'll go to Mechanical Alley.